Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I'm making a cinnamon cake and I thought I had all of these ingredients here at home but when I actually got to looking for my recipe I had um, self rice and flour out on the shelf. I had two of them and I thought one of them was an all-purpose uh, flour but uh, it wasn't so I had to go down to my local Piggly Wigglies and pick me up some flour to finish my recipe. But any, anyway, everything in my recipe will be in the description below. And so I've already got my flour in here, which is one and two thirds cups. So now I'm gonna put in my sugar. That's one cup of sugar. And I'm gonna put in my baking soda, baking powder. And I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. Maybe two pinches. <laughs> and one egg. And my vanilla flavoring. And one cup of milk. I'm going to beat this all up. Okay, that's all beat up now, and I'm going to pour it into my uh, pan that I've already sprayed, and this is an 8 by 11, and uh, the recipe called for a 9 by 13, but uh, some of the people said that their cake looked like it was uh, not as uh, high as they wanted it to be it didn't rise like they wanted to wanted it to but I think it was because they used a 9 by 13 and so I'm going to be using this 8 by 11 and I think that that will make it look like it's uh, rose good enough <laughs> Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move my cake just a little bit, my cake pan with my batter in it, and I'm going to put my cinnamon in my brown sugar. to stir this all up. Okay, I'm going to move my pan back over here. And I'm going to sprinkle my brown sugar over the top with the cinnamon in it. It really smells good, this cinnamon. 
don't you hate to start to do a recipe and you think you have all the ingredients <laughs> and then when you get to making it start to making it you realize you don't <laughs> I hate that I try to keep from that happening but sometimes life just gets in the way <laughs> We've been having a lot of rain <laughs> here this week. And our little streams around here are really overflowing. Okay, now then I'm going to put on my walnuts. You could probably put pecans on this if you had your other. Or you could leave them off. <laughs> I usually have pecans in the house, but I didn't have any today, but this recipe actually called for walnuts, but I did have walnuts, so that's what I'm using since it called for it. Okay, I'm going to put this into a 325 degree oven for about 30 minutes, and um, if you cook it in a different pan, uh, the recipe says 350, but because I'm using a glass pan, I'm going to be cooking mine at 325. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back now, and my cake has came out of the oven, and it cooked for 30 minutes on 325. And uh, me and Calvin forgot to uh, tell y'all that uh, we put, it's, let's see, it's one-fourth cup of melted butter over the top of it when we put it, right before we put it in the oven. And uh, we didn't film that part, but that's what you have to do. So... Okay, I'll be back when this cools off and put the rest of my ice on. Okay, everyone, I'm back and my cake has uh, cooled off now. And um, I also made an icing to go on it. You don't have to make this icing. Uh, the recipe doesn't call for it. But uh, some people said that when they made theirs, they did make the icing. So um, I made one too and I just used uh, powdered sugar a uh, couple of tablespoons of milk, and a little bit of vanilla flavoring. Okay, so I'm going to drizzle this on my cake. That was really a good cake too. Okay, I've got all of the icing on it now, so I'm going to do the taste test. That's how it looks. Okay, so let me give it a taste. Mmm. 
That is really good. Here you go, Kevin, you take a taste. You know I'm not going to turn that down. <laughs> it looks good and got a good texture to it. That's really good, Marie. Thank you, Kevin. I, uh, I thought it would be a good little cake to make, and I had all of the ingredients I thought. <laughs> I, had I, to, two, I got two bites of that. That's really good, Marie. I had to make that little trip to the store to get the rest of the ingredients. But I think it was worth it. So, I guess that um, if y'all make this cake, I think y'all enjoy it. And it's a quick little cake to make. And uh, so I'm going to close this video out. And so y'all, do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason